Hi, I'm Megan, and I'm here to be baptized today. I was listening to the Bible, and this feeling came over me of peace and joy that I can't really explain in words. Some people would say I became on fire for God for a little while, and um, I just want to pray. I want to be in church when I can. Um, I like speaking to my kids about God, teaching my kids about God, um, praying with my husband, which was never a part of our marriage, praying for my husband, for my kids, for my family, just knowing and really relishing in the joy of praying. The people that have been influencing me are Cheryl here and Tony Hughes. Um, Cheryl's been counseling me when I need it. Um, she has helped me get the confidence to be baptized. I was pretty nervous and scared to do it, and she really held my hand through it. I first decided to really invest my time in following Jesus when I saw the change in Tony. Um, I didn't really understand why she stopped cussing and drinking and how her whole demeanor had changed, her life had changed. Um, so she really witnessed to me at Thanksgiving two years ago, and it's been a process since then. Something I'd like to share for someone who might be nervous about um, coming to church, staying in church, being baptized, is that it it's okay if you don't come from a church background. It's okay if you don't know the Bible. It's, it's okay if you can't quote the Bible. It's okay if you don't know Jesus because he will show himself to you if you just keep pursuing him. Last August, my sister died of a fentanyl overdose. And I want everyone to know that if you're struggling with addiction, Jesus can help you. And if you know someone struggling with addiction, tell them the good news that Jesus can help them. And this is a safe place. And Jesus loves you. I believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of the living God. Naked because of your confession of faith, um, I now baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit for the forgiveness of your sins and the gift of the Holy Spirit.